we were set up um, it, specifically to look at this issue of um, corporate failure and the apparent um, inability of the um, uh, annual reports and accounts of companies that failed to state the true position um, as regards their, their financial affairs. Um, so the nature of the committee that we had was, first of all, strongly accountancy-based. They, I mean, one of the reasons that, to, to my surprise, really, that I was asked to chair this committee was was really because I wasn't an accountant. Mm. I was somebody who was interested in the ways that uh, boards worked, and I'd written about uh, uh, board working. Um, but nevertheless, the 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 focus um, of the membership uh, was in order to put right loose accounting standards. Failures in 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 reports and accounts, um, and there's uh, we would not really have been the right group to have widened it far outside that. I, mean, I think we did our best as a result of Maxwell. Uh, I think we could do that, but that was about it. We were careful when we published the report on the code to say that these are recommendations, clear recommendations and short recommendations, um, which you should implement. And then we said, in ways which made sense in your particular circumstances. And that was very important. And one of the hopes that certainly I had, and I think other committee members had as well, was that the code would be aspirational, not setting a floor to, you know, what had to be done, just, well, if we meet these these points, that's it. But to think always in terms of how do we progress, how do we, in fact, improve the standards of governance. It was difficult enough to provide um, what we felt was required, uh, which was to get across to boards of directors and individual directors uh, the extent of their responsibilities because we found when we started uh, that there was really widespread misunderstanding uh, of what they were there to do, what governance was for. Uh, and so we had to um, set out uh, as clearly as we could um, what we saw as the tests, if you like, that boards and directors should go through if they were going to form uh, an effective um, governance board. We didn't have any um, statutory power, and, and, and so we moved to what we referred to as market regulation. Um, but the one recommendation which it would have been, uh, in my view, um, right and helpful to have turned into law um, would be the need to have a properly constituted audit committee. One of the, the issues that, that really surprised us was the failure by many large companies to have a, an audit committee that really looked at the figures at the reporting that had a good relationship with the auditors and made use of the, uh, what the auditors could, could offer. The second thing is perhaps more fundamental in a way. Um, and it was beginning to, to it's something I, I must say I would have liked to have pursued, but it was too early. And that is that um, in business, we evaluate everybody. We evaluate the management we did not evaluate how boards were working. And in my view, if, as I believe, the board is, is, is uh, you know, that, that, that's the pivot, um, then boards ought to go through a process of self-evaluation. How well are we working? Could we do better? What decisions have we made which are looking back? Um, were the right decisions and which ones weren't? So that, um, that, that question of board evaluation of themselves um, 
seems to me the gap which it would have been good if we could have filled.